This is Brett with Summit Auto, and today I'm on assignment at the Chicago Auto Show 2021. Um, this year they've got the auto show, they got it condensed a little bit. It's all in one building instead of uh, the two buildings normally at McCormick Place here, but a um, little bit smaller show this year. A little bit less of a crowd, but because it's smaller, there's it's more compact and there's actually more people uh, here. Anyways, this is the 2022 Jeep Compass. It's a little bit of a redesign from the uh, previous uh, redesign that they came out with in, I believe, 2017. Uh, so the major differences that you'll notice is the front end. The uh, seven-slotted grille is a little bit more square, I would say. A little bit more edged off. Um, those there are actually a little bit of grills there. It does have a front camera now. This is the Trailhawk Edition. Stingray is the color on this one. Got some new rims for 2022. Here's a little information packet on here. So it still is going to have the 2.4 liter four cylinder motor. Um, and then all of the standard equipment on the Trailhawk, 2,000 pound towing capacity. We'll take a look inside at all the changes in here. The dash is different. It uh, looks like the seats are pretty similar. Just a little bit different design on the uh, cloth part of the Trailhawk seat. It is a power seat factory all-weather floor mats. The dash is definitely noticeably different. And you have a, looks like almost like an 11 inch instrument cluster in here and uh, also has the 10, I believe it's a 10.25 inch uh, touch screen here. It's a little dirty. This one's got all the options, lane departure, uh, perpendicular, parallel park assist, start stop technology, has the adaptive cruise control. The steering wheel's different as well. All the controls are different looking than the uh, current ones. You have a different toggle switch for your rock, sand, snow, and auto. It's not a turn dial anymore. It's this little lever. Um, downhill assist control. I believe it's still the 9-speed automatic transmission, but there's a look at that dash. That's pretty cool. Has a nice black trim around it. This one has the panoramic sunroof. lucky enough to get in this particular car. And now it looks like they just have the SOS button in that mirror, um, which is a little different than uh, the old ones that had SOS and assist. Let's take a look at the back seats. Not much too different back here. The uh, air controls are different. It does have a USB and a USB-C. And then a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in and a 12 volt power point back here. These seats still fold down pretty nice and flat. Latch child safety system, of course. Four wheel disc has Falcon Wild Peak tires on here. These are 215 65R17s. You get the red tow hooks. This one has a tow package on it, four pin wiring and receiver hitch. This is a power gate. back storage area is about the same as it always has been and because it's a Trailhawk it's going to come with a spare tire you get a factory subwoofer back here and the button for the rear gate still beeps three times and then comes on down so overall I think it looks pretty good nice redesign on it and uh, thanks for checking out the video today Hope you got to get a good look at this new redesign. And to see more videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summit auto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left. A link to more videos from the 2021 Chicago Auto Show on the right. And um, yeah, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos we do each and every day here at Summit Auto. Thanks for checking out the video.